welcome to my channel. So, as usual, I'll be breaking down the eco tea on my items that I bought. And of course, um, some of you guys, it depends on your priorities when it comes to the environment. If you are into reducing eco waste, like I am, you, you should definitely pay attention to fabrics, the fabric that you buy and, and in doing so you prevent them from ending up in landfills and if they do, they are biodegradable and so you're looking for natural fibers and fibers, natural fibers are fibers that are made from animal as well as plants. And so you're going to have leather, your wool for plant based, you'll have cotton, it's close, linen. So yeah, those are some of the fabrics that are environmentally biodegradable and sustainable because they last for a long time and you can wear them for so long and yes, some of them do have their challenges, but they are natural fibers. So when they go back to the earth, you feel confident that they are blending back into the environment. So I, I, I get some satisfaction from that. And as well, if you are into human and animal rights, of course, you have to look at the ethical side of things where the workers are being paid well and treated well in good environments and where the animal products are used which in this case leather and of course that is your right to choose whatever your priority is when it comes to the environment definitely buy vegan if you're into animal rights and human rights and I get some comfort in knowing that whatever leather um, resulted in the making of my leather belt probably went to feed somebody who was probably hungry, was very hungry, I hope, and that there are no like random senseless act of killing animals. It's a world where nothing is black and white and there's always, there's always much more that lies beneath the making of things and so the most we can do is to do our best to consume less and that's my key message to consume less as you go forward as you become more environmentally aware of what contributes to uh, reducing your environmental footprint so yeah as promised, I am sharing my belt collection with you and it includes some luxury belts and I hope nobody gets offended by it. It's the only set of items that I invest in because I love belts. I love belts. It's a love... It's... <laughs> Yeah, it's a love connection that is similar to my love for high-waisted pants as well as my love for leg trousers, flowy dresses and kimonos as well as duster coats. Yes, I know that's quite a long list but those are the clothing items I love and would buy in a heartbeat if I love it in a particular color and style. So that's also my love connection with belts. And it so happens that some of the belts I love are on the higher end side. And I am not making any for loving those belts because they are my only, I would say, essentially, apart from boots, they are my guilty pleasures. And <laughs> interestingly, despite them being luxury items, I look 
for them when they're on sale because I buy them from online consignment stores, which means that they have been used before or some of them are relatively brand new but have barely been used. And I ensure that whenever I go on Vestier Collective, which is where I buy most of my belts, I ensure that I look for items that are in great condition, which means that they have barely been used, are in many instances in their boxes and with little wear and tear. So here comes item number one. This is my new addition to my belt collection. It's a Dolce and Gabbana belt and I love it. It's a piece I often gravitate towards when I'm heading out for a date night because it just elevates an outfit. Love it. And of course, guys are familiar with this. This indicates it was authenticated by Vestia Collective. And oh my God. This is a size four centimeter, which means it's, it's 1.5 inch wide which means it's the normal width for most belts that you can wear with jeans and me because i have so many dresses and i invest in these to wear to work or to wear when i'm going out one thing you guys have to keep in mind is the ethical concerns and the environmental issues associated with leather so definitely keep these tips in mind when you're considering buying new leather items to work as well and on dates i don't buy them to put them up because that's not me <laughs> that's my mother <laughs> she buys things and put them up not me i've learned my lesson with that because in her case when she buys our stuff and put them away by the time we are ready to use them they can no longer fit us so i've learned Highway, so I no longer save stuff for when I'm ready to go somewhere special. To me, every day is special, and if I have the opportunity to dress up every day, I'm gonna dress up and I'm gonna wear one of my belts so I can get my cost per wear. These belts range from about a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars, some of them $200, but I don't think. I've paid that much except for my Gucci belt, which is another story. And of course, you guys know my Gucci piece. It's also 100% leather. New edition, really love it. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys. If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys. If you click on these buttons, You'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly, guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. Well, my second piece is my Prada piece. And you guys must have seen it all over. <laughs> all over my day night looks because I just love it. This is a classic piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Yeah, it came very almost brand new. And what I did, um, this is the 95, which means it's about maybe 37 inches in length. Well, for the waist, I wear length 85 centimeter, so that's the ideal size. Um, belt that I wear and this one the width is perfect and if you have been paying close attention to my videos you would see how often I've been wearing it I've worn it several times for date night looks and this doesn't stop there guys this belt as you know it's very versatile Not as wide as the Zara belt this is the Zara belt. You guys know I wear this with everything. Which is the reason why I kept 
kept this belt because when I got it, I said I have the Zara belt, which is very similar. I had the Dolce and Gabbana one that I wore to my gala. And this is the Dolce and Gabbana piece that I wore to my gala. It's a very exclamatory belt. Definitely an attention grabber and I love it. It's very similar in shape. So this one is ideal for work and every day. And that's the reason why I can get away with wearing this belt to work almost every day with all of my dresses. It's the perfect low key because it's not an in your face belt. It's just a perfect professional piece. All my short dresses, oh my God, it's so complimentary. And to think I almost resell it. I relisted it on Vestia Collective and somebody ordered it like in a heartbeat. So I decided not to resell it and I kept it and I am glad that I did. It's patent leather which means it has two layers of the raw leather as well as the one that is treated so it's a little bit more fragile i think ah, i love this piece it's such a great piece the shiny patent look just makes any outfit look chic and high-end and this is the case in point guys i absolutely love the way a patent leather piece just elevates an outfit and it's the perfect piece to wear on a date for dinner to any events. I, I just love that. I shall put on this jacket. It's a little bit chewy. So yeah, the next one up is my Yves Saint Laurent belt. Oh my god, am I ever in love? And again, what I love about this is the huge buckle detail and it fits beautifully it goes with many things in my wardrobe this is absolutely one of my favorite date night looks and i guess it's because of my peculiar relationship with polka dots and then to combine it with this belt that i absolutely love it was an all-win situation for me. Love this combo. Especially love it around my waist for mini skirts. And I'm definitely not ashamed to be hitting you with this montage of this piece, especially because this skirt is one of the pieces, the few pieces that I love to wear on a date or just hanging out with the girls. Love this belt with it. And this of course again is 100% leather and it's one of those semi-matte leathers so it doesn't really bruise too easily so I love that as well. Oh my god. What I also love is that you could re remove the leather and you could add a different buckle to it. So, and this is such a great fit. It yes, it is perfect. It just so happens, it just, it just goes with everything in my wardrobe. You guys know that's what I look for whenever I buy an item. I make sure that it could fit with every single item in my wardrobe so I could wear it to work I could wear it dancing so this is absolutely the perfect piece for me I do take pride in my belt collection so these are pieces that were specifically selected because they would be around forever in my wardrobe I think it's 85 centimeters so it's such a great fit for my waist so I can definitely interchange and use a different buckle. So let's say I want to fit my Dolce & Gabbana 
um, buckle to this because my Dolce and Gabbana belt is a little bit too big. I can't do that, but I wouldn't do that. Don't, don't, don't worry. If I have to, I will. But yeah, I really, really love this piece. It's gorgeous. The fun continues next week, guys. Stay tuned.